everyone, Curtis here again with another uh, jungle guide. This Welcome one's going to be Olaf. What we want to do with Olaf is get your undertow first and have life steal. It's your main thing, honestly. So once you get, we're going to want to get a vampire acceptor and your undertow first. You need to go to blue buff. Olaf is pretty amazing when it comes to jungling just because he does it fast and retardedly effectively. 30 seconds until minions spawn. So I'm going to start with blue like I said. He can honestly he could do wolves if you really want them to. Man, he he, he could probably start at red actually if like he is retardedly effective. But blue probably the best choice. Just like most junglers honestly, but Depends on who you're playing. Like, if your jungler doesn't have mana, then honestly, I'd stay away from blue. Like, you're still gonna have to do it. But. Like, it, always, it always pisses me off seeing, like, Lee Sin and shit. That a character that has no mana never offering his blue to anybody. And it's just like, why? It does almost nothing for you. It does give him energy, so that it's. It's not the worst for him, but it's definitely better than a mana champion. You're gonna throw your undertow. You're gonna you're gonna have it in such a way where you can throw it and catch it each time. So next you're gonna get your vicious strikes for life, like additional life steal and attack damage. So watch. What I'm gonna do when I come into this, I'm gonna go like that. That's what you're gonna wanna do. Cast it like three feet away from you, you're gonna pick it back up and do it again. <coughs> Smash. And then it'll go over to Wraiths. <laughs> See, with Undertow, a lot of people think you get vicious, vicious strikes first and you just get to low health and you'll start doing a lot of damage. It doesn't really work like that. Undertow does a lot of base damage and it, ha and it has like a two second cooldown if you use it correctly. Now, smart casting is something you want to look into while using Olaf. Smart casting is basically where you go and you throw your axe or whatever skill shot where your mouse is pointing. So you hit shift and for the default settings are shift and then your buttons. So say your mouse is over here, hit shift and Q and he's gonna throw it instantly to where your mouse is. You don't have to do with this fucking shit. It's a lot easier. Definitely look into that when playing all off. You get another rank at undertow or vicious strikes up to you. At this point, you're pretty much unstoppable. Oh, I kind of moved it a little bit. Go back over to Wraiths. You're gonna get a point in under uh, your uh, reckless swing when you go to gank because that's gonna give you the uh, chance to last an enemy, get the kill, or just it's gonna be an awesome just everything. So I have a rank two in undertow, so my gank is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty potent because of the slow. Let's say I'm gonna go gank bot lane. You're gonna go down to bot lane, blah 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 blah. To kill rising. You come down here, just whip your fucking axe. Try to hit them with your axe. It all depends on who you have in your lane if you can hit them with your axe. If you can hit them, they're gonna be slowed, you're probably gonna kill them. He's not the best ganker, but he's so effective at killing like minions and jungle minions and stuff that he makes up for it. Anyways, that's for my guide.